Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dow and this is part two of my new solar PV install, my new house. You can see the north side of the roof is finished. The V-luxes are in. And that means that yesterday, the solar panels and the trays were installed. Now, I did get permission from them to do some filming and do a time lapse. The camera ran out <laughs> and uh, didn't quite go according to plan, but I'll show you the little bit of install footage that I have got, and then we'll pop around the front and I'll give you kind of my thoughts and feedback on the installation. And one thing I forgot to mention in the video of part one is that another thing that was quite good about GSM was in their quote, they completely broke down everything and the cost for each of the things. So it was really clear to me what I should be expecting and kind of what components are going to be installed solar trays, how much cable, clips, and all that kind of thing. So very nice and detailed, quite transparent in that regard. So do this little bit of a time-lapse video coverage, and then we'll pop on the front and show you what it looks like. Okay, so not the best kind of overview or time lapse as I mentioned, but it's here, the panels are in. So it wasn't completely smooth sailing, and I'm gonna talk a bit about that and also share a bit more experience with the in-roof system and kind of things to be aware of. But as you can see, I do now have 12 panels installed on my south-facing roof. The roofers have done their job, finished going around um, all of the outside doing the ridge and everything, make sure everything is in nice and neatly. Now, in terms of how the actual install went, the uh, installers turned up uh, a little bit early actually, which wasn't uh, too bad, and they set to work to get in on and doing the roof. One of the initial issues we had was the, it turned out the actual trays and things were wider than was communicated. So we had to get uh, some of the roof tiles taken off to enable the trays to get on for the solar panels. Uh, and as you can see, I think I mentioned it in, um, maybe not part one, but the video before when I was talking about getting in roof or on roof, some of the installers that op gave me the option of having 16 panels, there's no way another row of four panels would have fit on the top in landscape. So I'm glad I stuck with the original plan. So yeah, the install actually didn't go too bad. They, they managed to adjust the uh, tiles they put all the trays in, and again, I was in and out of meetings, so I didn't have too much time to kind of pop up and see exactly what was going on. Um, they showed me that there was a possible concern with putting the top um, flashing kit on, because basically because of the angle of the roof, and that there's not much at the top, the tiles would have sat quite proud of the solar panel and would create a possible um, wind uplift opportunity there. So they made a decision not to install the um, top flashing, which doesn't cause a problem. It's still uh, weatherproof and everything. But again, that's something that I have to talk about, see if um, we don't get charged for that. Um, and then the other issues I didn't spot right till the end, I was, I was popping out and I saw they had all the panels on and I'd taken a couple of uh, pictures earlier. And this was my kind of main kind of look frustration is these are supposed to be 435 watt panels 
but they're not. They're 430 watt panels. So no one mentioned that to me. Just so happened that I was looking at um, the, the picture uh, of the panels whilst I was in a meeting and noticed on the back with the serial number, said it was 430. So I've, obviously it was, they already put them all on. Um, so I did raise that um, with the head office and they told me initially that um, they couldn't install what they're quoted because the 435 watt panels um, are too big to fit in the tray, but they're all the same size. Uh, so when I questioned that, um, they mentioned that it was about a fireproof um, rating issue with the tray, um, which again, we've covered that in the previous video. It's fine up to kind of 600 watts, 450 on some of them, 600 watts on the other. Um, but, you know, still arguing about it. I'm not gonna kick up a massive fuss around a loss of 60 watts. Uh, we'll be getting some compensation from them for that but obviously that's just a key note for anyone if you're having any kind of solar install double check that what you're having put on is what you ordered because you know it might be missed and even you know the installers themselves they might not know exactly um what they're supposed to be installing just given a bunch of panels and says hey get that up um on the roof another couple of things to be aware of with the in-roof um trays around the edges of the tray where it hits the roof they have this gsm tape it's 20 millimeters wide but it expands from this very thin stuff into this 44 millimeters in thickness and that basically bridges the gap around the side tray uh, and the um the tile stops any birds or anything trying to get in there uh, and nest in the corners i was a bit skeptical because it took a long time um for this to go to this size uh but it does so have faith if you if you're worried like i was that this stuff not expanding because it does it slowly overnight it kind of went from nothing to this and fills in the gap quite nicely and then the other couple of things two of the panels do have um a couple of marks on i'll see if i can show that um in the video i don't think they're grease marks i think it might be a little bit of delamination or something so i have to wait and see if in part three once everything gets connected up, uh, if there's any performance issues, we again have to get those sorted out under warranty if there is a problem. But apart from that, I think it looks pretty good. Um, definitely glad I went with the in-roof system. Um, glad I was kind of checking to see what was happening going on with the install. But let me know if you have any questions or comments. Part three will be coming next um, once they come back uh, in a while. That'll obviously probably be the next video for you guys for them to install the five kilowatt give energy hybrid inverter and the two 9.5 kilowatt um, batteries. And I will show you, they just fed the cables in through the felt uh, and the back, and obviously that will all get rooted to where the inverter is going to be. And uh, yeah, you'll see that in the future video. So thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them down below uh, and I'll read them and come back to you. And uh, yeah, if you haven't done already, consider subscribing, part three will be coming. Um, to finish off the install and then part four you'll see how it's performing there'll be some more solar videos coming in the future comparing this system to my old system in terms of its performance how different batteries are working together and that kind of thing so as always thanks so much for watching take care of yourself until the next one goodbye for now